Oh, routing. So routing is the, uh, the uh, capability of being able to modify an entire page, right, and, and, um, uh, and replace it with perhaps another completely different page, right? Uh, now, I mean, we already can do that. We can already modify small snippets of a, of a page, right? We can, we can hide something or add something or remove something. What we mean by routing is that the, uh, the overall uh, URL at the, at the top of the, uh, of, of, the, uh, of the page, right, of the, um, uh, of the browser, uh, somehow reflects an entirely new piece of content uh, or, or, or a, a substantial uh, modification of the entire content of, the, of, of, the, uh, of what's being displayed. Now, this is, this is a very common uh, feature of, of web pages in general, where if you change the URL, obviously, you're going to render something else. Okay? Uh, and this has been around since whenever the, uh, the, the, the web was, was invented, right? Different URL, different document. But here, we are in a single page application. Right? Uh, we don't actually want to uh, unload the HTML document and replace it with a, with a completely different HTML document. In single page application, we just don't do that. We always stay in the single index page, index.html, the one that has the div with the ID root. That is the, in the, the only index page that, that uh, I'm sorry, the, in the only web page that will ever be loaded in a single page application. Everything else is you know, loading snippets here and there, right, and, 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 um, and giving the illusion of navigating from one to another, right? So, we want, we, so, so it's, it's basically navigation, right, uh, but uh, using a different, different technique, a completely different technique. The URL will change, right, the content will change, but we'll never actually leave the index that I show. Instead, we'll map, you know, different URLs, we'll map it to different components so that this, if you see this URL, we'll render that component. If we see this other URL, we'll render a completely different component. Right? And we'll replace the DOM as opposed to replacing the entire document. Make sense? All right. Uh, so let's, uh, let's uh, implement, as an example of, uh, of, uh, if, of, um, uh, of navigation, for instance, you might have uh, navigating from the grid version uh, to the table version. Uh, or from either one, navigating to the, to the course editor. So we have at least three types of web pages that we want to navigate between, right? We can toggle between two versions, and then if we click on a particular course, we want to navigate to a complete different course editor, right? Uh, so, so let's uh, take a look at that. Uh, actually, I think I have um, uh, getting started with the assignment <laughs> uh, that, that, get, that gets you going on creating that, that, uh, that uh, kind of navigation, right? Uh, so just to give you a, 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 an idea, here we have the whiteboard, which we already have uh, start, get, gotten started with. And what we'd like to be able to do is to have, for instance, uh, two, two elements, right? One, two components, one called the course table and the other one the course grid, right? And, uh, and depending on clicking on a toggle, we would like to navigate either to the course table or to the course, to the course grid. Yes? So let's implement that. Let's implement a, 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 a simple course table, simple course grid, just to get us started. Um, I think we already uh, did the course grid. Let's see. Uh, we had started with a whiteboard. Let's see. We have a course card. And this course card is, uh, is basically the, 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 the course grid, right? The course grid contains, contains this. Um, I'm going to, for now, I'm going to uh, uh, comment out the module list. I'm going to comment out this uh, uh, course card. Uh, let's see what we have so far. So we have just whiteboard. And um, let's, uh, let's uh, declare two components, uh, one for the course card, JS. Oops, course, oh, I'm sorry, course grid, course grid. And for now, I'm just going to implement a stateless component. Right? I, don't, I haven't decided whether it maintains state or not, but it's uh, more expedient So from React. Uh, and this might be something like um, const uh, course grid. Uh, and, and this is just going to render maybe h1, h2, course grid. Right? And this will contain a, a, a loop that iterates over the course cards, right? And probably receive our, our arguments, the courses, 
right? And you have, you'll have a map here that iterates over those, those courses. Right now, I'm just going to have H2 because I just want to show you uh, uh, navigating from one or the other, right? That's, the, that's what I want to show you. Uh, so, so I'm going to copy that course grid, and I'm going to call it instead course table. Uh, so in course table, we'll call this uh, course table. So course table, and this is course table. And something I forgot to do uh, was to export, export default uh, course table. There it is. And the same thing for the course grid. So this is course grid. I don't need the table. Oh, so, all right, so we have the two, right? One says course grid, one says cor course table. All right, so in, uh, in whiteboard, I like to render both, but not at the same time. So I have here course grid, and then I have course table. Right now, both of them are rendering. There they are, right? What I'd like to be able to do is have a toggle, right? Perhaps down below here, we could have maybe an A, right, that uh, has a href, um, whatever, just hash. Uh, and this says uh, uh, table, right? And then another link. Uh, that, that says uh, grid, something like that, all right? So we have the two links that if I click on one or the other, I would like to show one or the other, OK? Uh, so to do that, we're going to need uh, another, uh, another um, uh, we're going to need another uh, uh, library, a library that specifically handles routing, right? That if you click one or the other one. So, so this library. Well, actually, there's a couple of libraries, right? Uh, but one of the more, one of the more uh, successful ones uh, is the React uh, uh, um, DOM uh, router, right? The React, uh, the, I'm sorry, the React router DOM, React router DOM, right? And actually, we don't have that library installed in our project, so we'll need to install it. So let's do that. Let's grab that, and let's uh, go to our uh, uh, right here, and we'll do an npm install React Router DOM and save. So that's going to install the library so that we can import it uh, and implement the navigation portion of this, of this, right? All right, so now it's installed. It, back in our, back in our, um, uh, back in our uh, page here, wherever we want to implement routing, what we need to do is, is uh, first declare the fact that the, that, the, that the URL can change. And then we need to map to say that, hey, when the URL looks like this, I want to show this component. When the URL looks like that, I want to, I want to use this other component. All right? So to do that, we do the following. First, we, we, um, uh, we, we, we bring in the browser router from the React router DOM, right? the library we just installed. So let's do that. Let's grab that. And let's, uh, let's load it here, here. There it is. OK. Uh, browser, browser router, because uh, now we have native routers as well. Right? The routing works differently in a mobile application. So this, this, this deals with routing only on browsers. Right? If, and you can rename them. You can rename them if you, you want to give them a local name. Right? But the actual object in that, in that library is called browser router. But locally, we can give it a local name as router. Uh, once we have that, we can create a router. We can create a router and say, we want to be able to navigate between. We want to create navigation. We want to create navigation. Uh, so we want to, anything in here, we'll, call, we'll, we'll be able to implement the navigation. Uh, and the router only takes one, one, one child. So there's our, there's our child there. Uh, and in here, we can put everything we want to navigate. We want the navigation to occur in that routing. Right? So we can either display one or another. Right? So that becomes a router. Right? We want to show one thing or we want to show another thing based on some URL changes. Uh, so the URLs, in instead of using plain all uh, um, anchors, we need to use a a, um, a link. Links are special cases of, uh, of, of anchors. Actually, they render identical to anchors, but they have some, some little magic attached to them, some behavior attached to them. Okay? So instead of anchors, just using plain anchors, we're going to replace this with link. 
right, and link. And instead of href, right, we say that this is linked to what the URL we want. What the URL, what URL we want to show. For instance, we can say courses table or courses grid, for instance. So that if I click on one or the other, the URL will change to courses table or courses grid. Make sense? All right? Then once I have that, so is this still compiling? Did it, yeah, it died? OK. Um, did I spell it wrong? Uh, two. Uh, what is it doesn't like? Uh, you must specify the two. I did. Oh, OK. <laughs> I just had to refresh. Sorry. Uh, right, so, so now, now, now so this, this, this uh, changes the URL. Changes the URL. Now we have to tell it what we want to happen. Right? Uh, when the URL looks like this or when it looks like that. Right? So to do that, we need yet another component called the route. Right? The route. The route allows us to, to display, to, 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 um, allows us to, uh, to specify content as saying, here's a route, that if the path looks like this, course dot slash table, if it looks like that, I want to display the following component. If we can say that I want to display the course table component. Right, so I'm not, I don't need this anymore. And if instead the route looks like this, instead I want to render this other component. Ugh. Make sense? All right? So now notice that it's not rendering either. Right? Because the URL it's no is not one no, nor the other. So it doesn't know what to render. Right? So if I click on table, it doesn't render. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? Path? Uh, single blah 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 blah, blah render. Uh, oh, I'm using uh, I'm using render here. Um, does it matter? It shouldn't matter. Uh, course table. Uh, route path component. Uh, course table two. I'm sorry. Don't match. Where? Oh. Uh. Thank you. There we go. Right. So it renders and shows one or the other. Right. Uh, the the uh, thank you. So so the only other thing here is that uh, using component is a little bit too restrictive. One of the things that you can't do, for instance, is pass data down to the component. There's no way, you know, it'd be great if you could, if this had a, you know, like a, like a, um, like properties or something, right? Where you could pass maybe, uh, you want to pass maybe the courses so that the course table can actually render the, t the courses. But no, uh, instead, uh, you have to use this, uh, this other um, syntax, which instead of component, instead of component, there's render, right? And in render, you can pass actually a function. You can pass a function that renders the uh, course table like that, right? So this renders identical to before. Renders identical to bef before, but now you can actually pass here courses. You know, this dot props dot courses. You can pass it down. You can pass it down, and then in course table, for instance, you could you could render. Oh, there it is, courses, right? There it is, courses. You can render, you know, courses dot length. So in table, it blows up. What I do? This oh, courses. 
Oh, me and my S's, geez. <laughs> there it is, table, table have two, meaning that in the component, I have that array. I could iterate right, and display all you know, in a table or in a grid or whatever. That make sense? All right. OK, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you. <laughs>